What's up everybody? Welcome to the episode one of the Zebra Adventures videos. As you all know, I have been a biker since I was a young teenager. This motorcycle segment will cover subjects that the rest of the channel cannot cover because it's car related. The bike section will cover motovlogs, reviews, mods, races, when I encounter them, and funny videos, bike related. And road trips, of course, bike related. Why the name Zebra, you may ask? Because of the letter Z, it was on the side of the bike when I bought the bike because the bike was called a Z200. And this particular Zebra does change its stripes. Enjoy the show and the journey. And don't worry, we will continue to do paranormal videos of mostly car or bike related phenomenon and more. Testing the bike, I encountered this uh, modern Sniper 150, and this is a DOHC dual overhead cam bike with uh, four valves. And the bike that I'm using is a highly modified Motorstar Z200 with two valves and push rods, and this is the result. At this point I start pulling on him. As you notice, my ported and polished heads begin to flow and that's when I start catching up to him. This is actually the third time I've caught up to this bike. And I just pull up right next to him right here. As you can see, as I was racing this guy, it's uh, basically because of the nature of the bike, the bike does not rev like the sniper, it tugs because it produces a lot of torque. So it may seem like we're going in slow motion, but it's not. If you look at the background and all the bikes that we we're passing and the cars we we're passing, yeah, things go by pretty fast. So this is an actual race between this bike and their bike. And of course, my bike prevailed because I've done this before back in 2007. So this is nothing to me. This bike, as you see, has the same configuration it had in 2007. As you can see, it's still as peppy as it, as it ever was, so I'm very happy with it. In 2007, I beat a lot of Raider 150s with this bike, and apparently it has a skip the beat after I put everything back together in this motor. It still beats modern 150cc, four-stroke or two-stroke DOHC engines with no problem whatsoever. And plans for it are larger displacement, bigger bore kit, and things of that nature. Right now it's got a restrictive exhaust. It doesn't have its original exhaust on it right now, which has got a big head pipe. I have to use the stock one because I didn't have any other exhaust to put on this bike at this time. So what you see is the way it was back in the day. If y'all are wondering, this bike's displacement is 288 cc's as of now. And 
this thing will get much faster with the addition of more performance parts that I have planned for it and you will see that being done on this new segment of this channel. This is a bike only segment and everything that we have to do with bikes from now on will be on this part of the channel. Just bikes because I know you guys love that stuff so much. The loud ticking you're hearing with this uh, bike as I'm driving it are the push rods with a lot of free play. And the reason why they're making the loud noise is because they need to be readjusted uh, properly and they're not adjusted properly at this time because I'm in the process of breaking this engine in because all the internals are brand new including the bearings, seals, rings, piston, all the stuff that's internal that rotates and the rotating, rotating assembly has been replaced with new parts. 2024 parts so it's no longer a 2007 engine it's completely brand new and this bike of course as you'll see in uh, upcoming videos will have its um, frame and body and everything else restored so you'll see all that here being done right in front of your eyes so what I'm gonna do after this bike is done with this break-in which is gonna be in about a hundred kilometers then I'm going to readjust the valve so they'll be much quieter and push rod, push rod engines, almost all of them have a loud tick, but this one is excessive because of the excessive free play going on with this engine, and I'm going to fix that soon enough.